Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick little speed test comparison here between the new iPhone 8 and the Note 8, which is the faster device here. That is a very interesting question and I can't answer it, you know, I really can't because they both have amazing specifications. Uh, so I wanted to put them to the test here and see how they do compare. Now, do bear in mind the iPhone 8 does have the same processor as the iPhone 10, so maybe we're going to see similar performance here. Oh, iPhone 8 still boots up faster than Sammy Boy. Sammy Boy is still behind when it comes to your boot up, which you know that is important to some people. Uh, but to me, you know, I think I'm more interested in the day-to-day -day performance. I think you can still see here Samsung is still. Uh, killing it when it comes to the bezel ratio uh, but obviously we will be getting the same kind of thing with the souped up iPhone uh, so let's just do a quick speed comparison here Apple A11 Bionic versus Exynos A895 uh, how do they compare day to day let's have a look and I'm not turning off the animation I'm doing it exactly as you get it from the box so you can see you know what uh, happens here and that was a nice one going to Sammy boy again oh Sammy again and oops there we go I think Uber has been banned in the UK oh dear they've been naughty uh, what else do we have we have App Store to me it seems like the Note 8 is opening up a little bit faster here still, which is quite surprising actually. I was expecting the iPhone 8 to be dominating, because Samsung usually lags, uh, but that's not the case, you know, Samsung's done a really good job here with the Note 8 in terms of the optimization. Uh, whoa, let's get rid of that, don't want to use that. Let's try some games here. Notate again. Wow, look at the display contrast here. Bear in mind that these phones are about the same kind of price. Well, you, you have to pay 50 euro more for the Note 8 where I am. So, you know, you are getting an amazing amount of phone here from Samsung. Looks like the iPhone is coming ahead here with this one. So, it's coming back. About CSR Racing. Oh, this one's going to be close. Oh, it's a Note 8 again. Wow, I've never seen this before, actually. Because usually, uh, usually it's the iPhone which is really fast when it comes to your gaming. But not anymore, you know. You can see here, the Note 8 is doing really well. And again, oh my god. Samsung, this is a massacre. Uh, so you can see here, you know, this is probably why nobody lined up for the iPhone 8. Uh, so what do we have here? We have the speed test app. Let's see if the iPhone can keep up here. Not sure what uh, they're using for the antenna, but, you know, hopefully it's not as bad as the iPhone 7s, which wasn't that good. Let's just be honest. I think it was an Intel one in the iPhone 7. So a very strong score here, starting off with the note. And the iPhone fanboy in me is rooting for the 8 here. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that's good. So iPhone strikes back here and slays Samsung when it comes to the Wi-Fi. Should we give Samsung another go? Yes, we are going to give them another go because it's fair. Uh, so let's just see. So Samsung still won for the upload. Uh, can it defeat the iPhone 8 for the download? Oh, it's struggling. 
Oh, it can't. Oh my God. So yes, you do have an improvement there when it comes to your Wi-Fi. That is very nice, actually. Uh, so we're going to just move on here. I think the upload actually is quite good on the notes still though. Uh, we're going to have a look at the multitasking performance and round the video off. Because uh, I think we can summarize here the Note 8 very nice when it comes to your apps opening and games uh, generally. So how do they compare in terms of the multitasking? I don't think there's going to be much difference here. Uh, I think uh, Apple doesn't really need that much RAM. It's got half the RAM of the Note 8. All reload there. So I'm going to give the Note a point there. Hopefully we won't see too many of them. Obviously do bear in mind as well it is iOS 11 so you know there might be some optimization shall we say that is needed but this is how you're going to get it out of the box and you can see quite comparable actually for your basic apps not a huge difference here I think so I won't get into a tizzy uh, let's try the games here both of them going in there no reloads and let's see I wish you'd move the multitasking so it's like vertical. So I don't know what the Note 8 did then, but it could have been a reload. I don't know. We'll give it to the iPhone 8, but obviously do debate me. <laughs> I don't know why it did. Uh, CSR2, both of them straight in. And one more. Mr. Real Racing 3, can you keep it in memory? Yes, you can. So you can see, you know, Note 8 here is caught up when it comes to the optimization of the memory management. It did take 6 gigs of RAM, but uh, amazing performance though, in terms of the apps and the games. Wow, I'm blown away, really. Uh, I think you can see here the only real benefits of this new chip is the Wi Fi performance, it seems. Although I will be testing the other things as well, like you know the benchmarks, etc. So do stay tuned for that. But you can see here, if you're looking at these two phones from a performance perspective, I think the Note 8 gives you the more bang for buck overall. Obviously, when the iPhone 10 comes out, we will be looking at the performance between these two. Uh, but they will be sharing the same process, uh, iPhone 10 and 8. So it probably won't be that different, actually. Uh, so yeah, just a quick comparison here between iPhone 8 and the uh, Note 8 here. I think they both have uh, pretty much the same kind of features now in terms of dual camera, you know, uh, nice wireless charging. But Samsung is still faster, actually, uh, in terms of the uh, technology used. Both have fast charging as well, uh, which is nice. So yeah, just a quick comparison. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.